bem-vindos. Olá. So in this video we'll be sharing the most used forms of reply or phrases that we would use in common situations uh, in life. Okay, so most of these situations are common. So we'll start with a short dialogue, very brief, and then uh, if need be I'll explain the expression a little bit and after we'll have a practice session and then we move on to the next phrase or reply. Okay. Let's, Let's do get started, it. Yeah. Carla, é para ti. Ah, muito obrigada. Obrigada. So when saying muito obrigada or muito obrigado or without the muito. If you're a woman, you say obrigada. If you're a man, you say obrigado. Okay, so some people think, even Portuguese people think that if you're saying thank you to a, a female, then you should say obrigada. If you're saying it to a male, you should say obrigado. But that's not the case because what you're saying is much obliged. You're the one who's obliged to whatever the person did for you. So it depends on your gender. Okay, yeah. as a man, you will always say obrigado. And as a woman, you will always say obrigada. But to be honest, don't worry too much about it because um, it's not uncommon for the natives to interchange these these days. Repeat after me. Muito obrigado. Muito obrigado. Muito obrigada. Muito obrigada. Então, quando é que vais de férias? Para o mês que vem. Mal posso esperar. Mal posso esperar. That means I can barely wait or I'm looking forward to it. I'm so looking forward to it. And an alternative way to that would be não vejo a hora. Mm. Okay, so these are not literal translations from the English. So what you, when you see the English below, you will see an equivalent way of saying the same thing. Mal posso esperar. Mal posso esperar. Não vejo a hora. Não vejo a hora. Olha lá. Quanto é que pagaste por isso? 500 euros. Bolas? Bolas. That means shoot. And you can use that when you're surprised when you're shocked, or even when you're irritated and frustrated with something or at someone or even at yourself. You could say, I don't know, let's say you're dropping something constantly or uh, you knocked something over and you get quite ir irritated and frustrated. You just say, bolish. Yeah, it's not swearing, by the way. In fact, we don't teach you swearing in our videos. Bolish. Bolish. Tô. Tô, or tô sim. Tô is short for estou, I am, I'm here. Or you could even say tá, and that's short for está. This is how we, a Portuguese typically answers uh, a phone, their phone or, or their mobile phone. Tô. Tô sim. Ok, tchau, adeus, com licença. So when saying goodbye or before you hang up, you could just say, or even saying goodbye to someone at the door, uh, you could say ciao or simply adeus or all those things that Marlon said, ciao, adeus, con licença. The con licença at the end is asking permission um, to the other person to allow you to shut the door or to hang up the phone. Okay, so it's probably a little bit more formal and uh, I think I would tend to use it with people I don't know very well, or those I don't know at all, or maybe with some relatives that are older and I'm just showing a little bit more respect or being a bit more polite about it. Yeah, as Carla said, con licença can be used, for example, as somebody's leaving your house or you're having a conversation at the door and you're now closing the door so the conversation is finishing or they're just leaving and you say con licença as you're closing the door. Or, for example, in public transportation. If you want to get past someone and they're in your way, you might say, only sensor, just for them to move or step aside a little bit so you can go forward. That would be polite. 
And for saying goodbye, if you're saying, if you're seeing the person in a very uh, short time or soon, you could just say a or if you're seeing them later in the day, you could just say a dialogue. Ciao. Adeus. Com licença. Com licença. Até já. Até já. Até logo. Até logo. Bom, vamos pedir a conta? Sim. Olhe, se faz favor. Olhe, se faz favor, or olhe, desculpe. These are only ways to, or there are simply ways to draw somebody's attention. Just get the person's attention and then you can ask their, uh, your question or you can make your request. In this case, is, is in a restaurant, so you could just say that and then sort of imply that you want the bill by using a gesture. Mm. Or if you want to ask for another drink or something, then the person will just approach, uh, approach you and then you can tell them what you want. But this could happen in any other, um, in a, some other situation, like in a supermarket. So that, let's say you can't find something in a supermarket. So you could ask uh, one of the um, staff members that you may see and just say, Olhe, desculpe. Olhe, uh, se faz favor. And then ask away. Olhe, desculpe. Olhe, desculpe. Olhe. Se faz favor. Olhe, se faz favor. Au! Desculpa, foi sem querer. Foi sem querer. So, that means I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to hurt you. And usually we use that one for something that we've done and we had no intentions of hurting the person or... Even if we don't hurt them, we could just say it. Desculpe, foi sem querer. Just to make sure that the person doesn't get upset with you. Let's say if you bump into someone uh, or if you knock something over or in this case, if you hurt somebody, even if you're trying to help them. Foi sem querer. Foi sem querer. Sabes, aquilo que me disseste ontem ofendeu muito. Desculpa, não foi por mal. So, não, não foi por mal is very similar to foi sem querer. So, I would still translate it as I didn't mean to or it wasn't my intention, which you could alternatively say não foi essa a minha intenção. So, that means, or we would use that if uh, we said something, not so much if we did something, but if we said something and we feel bad about it and we didn't mean to hurt the person. Não foi por mal. Não foi por mal. Não foi essa a minha intenção. Não foi essa a minha intenção. Posso? Força. <laughs> How are you going to explain things with you? <laughs> so. <laughs> Força, you would use when you want to give somebody priority. So, like you, uh, in this situation, um, it's the last, the very last olive, and I wanted Carla to have it. But it could be, for example, as you're approaching a door and you want to go through it, and somebody else is coming at the same time as you, you could say, Força. You, you go. Yeah, so it basically encourages the person to action. So they were about to do something or you can tell that they want something and you just encourage them to go ahead with it. Basically, go ahead. Força. Força. Olha, a pizzeria está fechada aqui a nada. Vamos? Bora lá. Bora lá. Or simply, bora. Let's go. That's short for vamos embora. Okay, so it's a very informal way to, mm -hmm. to say it. So anywhere you're going, if you just encourage, if you just want to encourage a person or people to 
okay, let's get going, you could just say that. Vamos embora, bora, bora lá. Bora. Bora lá. Carla? Marlon, és mesmo tu? Há quanto tempo? Há quanto tempo? Há quanto tempo não te via? Há quanto tempo não nos víamos? So, we'd use that if you, if something hasn't happened or taken place in a long time. Okay, so if you see this a, this verb, which can translate into many different things, in phrases like that related to time, há dois anos, há quanto tempo, it just means that that amount of time has... Uh, Passed or elapsed. Yeah, has occurred. Okay, and in this case, it's the equivalent of um, long time, Lucy. Há quanto tempo? Há quanto tempo? Há quanto tempo? Sabes quem é que se vai casar? Quem? O Ruben. Estás a gozar. So, estás a gozar, you, you're kidding me. Or, a sério. Seriously. So, those, those are two different ways um, to handle that kind of situation. If you're so shocked... Uh, and you don't think that this person would ever uh, get married in this particular situation. But you could say it with a different tone, a different facial expression, which it would indicate a different emotion on your part. For example, Taz Uxar. This uh, would be like, really? Wow, I'm really happy for him, but I'm surprised. Okay? Or like Marlon, it was sort of a bit mean, like, mm. um, but it could be that you're just simply. Shock, estás a gozar. Wow, ok. Estás a gozar. Estás a gozar. A sério. A sério. Olha, só para vos dar a novidade que o bebê nasceu hoje de madrugada, é um menino. Muitos parabéns e muitas felicidades para o bebê. Muitos parabéns e felicidades, ou muitas felicidades. We can use that in this um, situation, but we could also use it if somebody's getting married or uh, for, an, for any type of anniversary. So it basically means um, congratulations and all the happiness in the world. Muitos parabéns. Muitos parabéns. Felicidades. Felicidades. O que é que se passa? Não pareces bem? O meu primo faleceu ontem. Oh, Marlon, os meus sentimentos. Os meus sentimentos, just, if somebody has lost someone in death, that's what you would say. Okay, so it's the equivalent of my condolences. Os meus sentimentos. Os meus sentimentos. Olha, fiquei em primeiro lugar. Muito bem. Muito bem. Muito bem means well done. If you translate well done literally, you will get bem feito. Now that means served you right. Okay, so if you want to say well done, you just say muito bem. Or you could say uh, isso mesmo. Obviously, in this kind of situation, it'd be a bit different because I was in a competition and I got first place. So he could say muito bem, or simply boa, nice one. Muito bem. Muito bem. Boa. Olá, eu sou a Carla Medina. Marlon Sabala, muito prazer. O prazer é meu. O prazer é meu, or o prazer é todo meu. Okay, so if you're introducing yourself to someone and you happen to be the second person saying your name or the last person saying the name, then you could just say immediately, um, nice to meet you. And the other person will say, o prazer é meu, ou o prazer é todo meu, or even, muito gosto. I personally feel that muito gosto is slightly more formal, so I would use it with people in a more formal uh, kind of setting. O prazer é todo meu. O prazer é todo meu. 
muito gosto. Muito gosto. So we hope you found those helpful and if you can think of any others, please share them in the comments below. And it's unlikely you'll be, you'll be able to memorize all of these just by watching the video. So we prepared a memorized lesson with the audio so you can train along with us. To access that, head over to portuguesewithcolor.com slash replies. Tchau, tchau.